Let's shave that bitch. Hey, Everyman Jack, if you guys want to sponsor this video, uh, let me know. I'm fucking loving your shit. Oh, sorry. Fucking loving this too. Okay. And you see there's a full bottle in this shit because I never have to shave this mustache. Lighting is terrible, I know, but I never have to shave this fucking... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Yeah, I never had to use any of this because I don't can have to shave and I don't have nothing. I don't have chest hair, nothing. I got a little stubble right here and that's about it. Yeah, we're about to fucking little widow's peak there as well. Cause uh, I have not shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Much better. What do you think? It's also very nice in my room at the moment. This lighting is hitting so well. It's so warm out. I might, I might even just go hydro dipping again today. Cue the B-roll. Just kidding. I don't have anything to show yet. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think. What can I hydro dip? I'm sure. I'm sure there is a lot of things I can dip. I did order some cheap ass, um, I ordered some headphones, a fucking purifier, air purifier, because I have so much goddamn dust in my room, it's ridiculous, and a uh, little Allen key set. I wanna see what I get for 50 bucks, and uh, that's what I got, so uh, yeah, pretty fucking happy. I'm putting this in the video. A wild Lincoln, first time ever captured on film. He is a very ferocious, very ferocious. Get the cameras back! Get the cameras back! Everyone, back away! Back away! He's too aggressive! Ah, grandma! Beautiful grandma. Huh? My beautiful <laughs> grandma. As the sun creeps to a crawl, a new beast emerges from the darkness. The Staffordshire Terrier.
a cunning animal, able to crush bones with its jaws and rip flesh to shreds with its 236 bladed sharp daggers for teeth. But he is not alone, as he meets a new threat to his kingdom. The English Bulldog. Outnumbering the Staffordshire in mass, the Bulldog is a predator not to be hassled with. Out of nowhere, the Bulldog charges head on, just grazing the Staffordshire Terrier. The terrier holds his ground. Another charge from the Bulldog, clashing against one another in an epic duel. Who will come out on top? back. Ah, how many views are we looking at today? 5, 10, 15, maybe 20? Um, yeah. It's been a while. It has been a while. I know. I know. But uh, I mean, honestly, I, I'll tell you I'll tell you the true honest story. First, I, was, I made that video that confidence is key video. And you, if you haven't watched that, um, you're probably not a gamer. But if you are a gamer, you can go check that out. If you aren't a gamer, still go check it out. It's pretty good. I shot that, that was great. And then I lost my camera charger. But uh, it's not really the greatest webcam and sound is not up to par and I can't hook up my external microphone. I have another microphone. I can't use that either because it has a really bad sound delay and you can't sync it up. You can manually sync it up, but it just never looks right. It just never feels right. And uh, it has a lot of motion blur and shit and it just, it's a nice camera, it's the best one they had from Logitech, but it's just uh, one of the best. One of the best 1080p cameras, at least. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's okay. Anyway, uh, it, it's good if you wanna like voice chat, but like, not for making videos. Yeah, so uh, that, that kinda went poo poo, but what happened in the meanwhile? Christmas went on, that was good. Oh, I was saying, yeah, so for the confidence is key video, I made that by stacking a bunch of boxes, and that's how I sat my camera on top. And that honestly worked. But after I lost my charger, no, just before I lost my charger, my Joby tripod, which is like a really nice sturdy tripod, one of the first ones, uh, couldn't hold as much weight as the new ones, but I think it held like four pounds, maybe five pounds, maybe even less. Anyway, it held my camera pretty great. Um, it eventually broke and the ball joint broke and my silly head, I think I threw it out, not realizing that you could take the ball joint off and yeah. I, I could have saved myself like 80 bucks and bought another one for like 20 bucks instead. But knowing Joby, the ball joints are probably like fucking 40 bucks. Uh, well, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. 50 bucks, they're like fucking Apple with their fucking tripods. But I mean, they work well. That's, that's, they work well and they do the job good. And uh, yeah, but yeah, everything's been great. Christmas went well. I got a sick new monitor. Got that nice webcam. What else did I get for Christmas? Got some money. A bunch of nice things. I'm really grateful for that. Easter was yesterday. Two days ago? It was two days ago? Three days ago? When was Easter? The 12th? Of the fucking... Anyway, it's 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 Wednesday. It's Wednesday right now. And Easter was on Sunday. So, uh, I got a fuck ton of chocolate. I ate all that shit last night. I waited a few days. And, yeah. I really shouldn't have done that. But, I mean, besides that, Christmas went well. Hope your Christmas went just as well. Um, yeah, everything was pretty damn good. No, I had a great time, and I really, 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 really I'm glad I got to take a break. No, let's talk facts. Ah.
Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, my stomach hurts. Fucking hell. So, a pandemic has arised. The worst is yet to come. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't panic at all. I mean, after all, this was predicted. It has been about maybe over a hundred years, just over a hundred years, and maybe just under a hundred years since the last pandemic, global pandemic, I would say, of this scale. We had SARS, we had, um, I think the last one was influenza, although I'm not too sure on that. But it is, it is, it is quite interesting. I mean, it really has exploded. There's actually this great documentary which they actually shot in 2019 called Pandemic, and they just released it. If I'm not mistaken, more and more people are not washing their hands, and it's just whether whether it was created in a lab. They're not. This is this is me speaking. Whether it was created in a lab or whether it was it came from animals, whether it came from anywhere. The fact is that it doesn't really matter where it came from. What matters is how quickly it spreads, I think, and how it's spreading. Because let's say it came from bats. Let's say it came from a lab. Of all things, those are those are very big what ifs. Each thing is very different. If it came from animals, that's more likely, less likely to predict which host animal that came from. But as if it came from a lab, how did it escape? What were they doing with that virus in the first place? And that they both have different, many different questions and uh, and uh, much different insights that need to be taken to really understand, you know, how to answer those questions. Whether it came from that or this, the fact is that it spreads through us, it doesn't spread by itself. We make the virus spread. We make any pathogen like that that's able to last on our fingers and our body and our skin and through our through our coughs and our and our breaths. We we make that spread. So I think that's really the topic that we should be talking about. We should be talking about you know, I mean, everyone is pretty much talking about it. No one really wants to know where it came from. I think that I think the I think the uh, consensus is that it came from an animal, a bat in their in their meat market in China. And whether they ate the bat, we don't know. Whether it, if you've watched the movie uh, Contagion, whether the bat droppings infected the pig, we don't know. Um, I think it'd be more or less around that area. But I mean, it's pretty sus. I mean, China has supposedly been lying about their numbers um, that doesn't surprise me but just because I feel like the government <clears throat> really has a thing very noted it's very 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 noted in history that their censorship is very um, high compared to many other countries even restricting internet access like I'm pretty sure they're not even allowed to access our version of YouTube or Facebook whether they even have Facebook I'm not even sure if they have that allowed in their country but a lot of people have to go through uh, like VPNs just so they can access American things or Canadian things, not even American things, just other global. Um, the, the the theme seems to be American created. The the theme seems to be American created applications, and they've substituted that with making basically their own application for every 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 American created platform. So there's like a knock off YouTube or a knock off uh, iMessage. I guess they were, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if WhatsApp was Chinese created. I'm not quite sure. Um, but uh, they have Weibo, I think, Weibo chat. Uh, they have basically a lot of different Chinese versions of products that are already made. So uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I, I like, it's, it's, I think it's pretty cool, honestly, how they're able to just make so many replicants of so many different things in such a quick amount of time. But yeah, the censorship is very heavy. I mean, I'm pretty sure most Chinese <clears throat> citizens don't even know, don't know a lot of stuff that goes around in the world. I feel like they're just blinded by the government and it's very, very unfair. And uh, I think, like I was trying to say, it's very, uh, very interesting. The virus spreads very quickly. And I think we're, st we're still trying to understand how, and there's so many different news articles, I swear every day on, oh, uh, it can be spread through this, through that. Does smoking weed help? Does smoking cigarettes help? Tobacco companies found a cure. I'm, I'm, so many different things. Like, I think 
I think the panic is over the top. Panic is stupid. We don't need to be panicking at all. Like, what is panicking gonna do? Is it make it go away? No, it's not gonna make anything go away. What's gonna make it go away is by staying in your house. And there's still people going outside on a daily basis, going to party, going to go have bonfires. Like, I'm really confused what their what their thought process is on that. I'm really confused. Why I cannot, cannot stop touching my face. I just, I cannot believe I did that whole entire section and I touched my face a million times. You know, and you know what? You're not gonna see all the other times I touched my face because I'm remaking this right now. Don't worry. It's still organic, I promise. And maybe I have much better things to say. So yeah, I think, God damn it, I did it. I did it again. I, I think it's very interesting how the virus can spread so quickly. I don't, I don't understand how it spreads so quick. Ah, you thought. But yeah, I don't really understand like how it's, God, shoot. They should be inside and not doing anything that involves touching other people and drinking and uh, smoking the not good stuff, you know? They, they should be relaxing and chilling at home. I mean, come on, like, is it really the hardest to stay at home? Can you guys really not go a good solid couple weeks and months years decades without seeing your friends like I don't understand the problem okay Gosh. but no I think I think it's just ridiculous I mean yo dude just stay inside why are you going outside why you gotta go and fucking party it up I don't I don't get you I don't get why you can't just stay inside like it's just uh it, it's so stupid it really is like these people are just making it worse. These fucking spring breakers go out, have a fucking whale of a time. Oh yeah, we're just living life. I'm just fucking, I'm drinking my fucking beer here. I'm, I'm, I'm living life. I just, I just, I just don't care about what happens. You know, I just, my mother told me to always live life to the fullest. So that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm just living life to the fullest. A week later, I just want to address the public that I am very sorry for my words. I think it was careless and very, very, very immature of me to think that way. I vow to stay inside now. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm also <coughs> infected with the virus. These spring breakers are going out having a whale of a time and then they're coming back fucking infected. Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand what their thought process is. Even like, even here, it's not even that bad. They, but they did shut down all essential businesses because we've had a bunch of cases. I mean, it, it, thinking like maybe like 200 300 maybe even less maybe like a hundred do you see my hair by the way they need to stop going out but do you see my hair it is it is getting so bad like it's so long at the back I don't think my hair's ever been this long it feels terrible <sighs> but uh yeah it's it's it, it, like, uh, just stay inside, bro. You don't gotta go outside. Just stay inside. You're doing yourself a favor. You're doing everyone, you're doing, you're doing everyone around you a big, solid favor. To everyone else who isn't uh, going inside and going to party and drink, um, tell me how that works out for you when you're coughing. Or when you, uh, <laughs> like, I just don't get it. I don't know. People are fucking living life, I guess, you know? Fucking rocking on. Wow. But yeah, uh, I don't think life will return to uh, its normal state once this is over. I think we'll be stuck in a in a money hole for a little while, a deep hole with no money, I should say. And I think it'll uh, take a little bit to get everyone off their feet. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, if you guys like the video, let me know. Tell me what's popping. Um, if you see anyone going outside, snitch on them. Call three one one. Call nine one one. Call nine nine nine. Call the fucking cops. I forgot to show you guys my hydro dip shoes. So um, yeah, if you guys like that, let me know. If you guys want to see some more hydro dipping, I'm so down to show you guys. I was honestly just bored, and I uh, I dipped these shoes and this case and my PlayStation. Actually, like I think I did this two months ago, three months ago. I feel like doing that, and I figured, hey, let's get the theme going. And I just had these really dirty shoes, and I tried to clean them up my best, and I think I did a good job. And yeah, I figured I'd paint one white and red, more white than red, and the other one with more red than white, and see how they both turned out. That way, I know which color would show more. And obviously the red. And the white, um, obviously didn't show too much, because it's white on a white shoe. But I like the red accent, it looks nice. So yeah, I just wanted to see how they would look. If you guys want to see more of that, just let me know, because, uh, 
I'm just so down to hydrate up anything else. If you guys have any ideas, I'd be so down. Why have all the times you go out? Why go out now? When we're at our worst. I don't I don't understand these people. They're just my brain cells. I just listen and I look and I listen and I just ah, they just die. They just blow up. I don't understand it. I don't understand this. Okay, I'll catch you guys later. My name is Zell. If you guys like the video, hit me up with a like. If you don't, don't like it, that's fine. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you have any new ideas on what I should hydro dip, let me know. Stop. Stop. Oh, my head does not do well. It was Ugh. I'll get you guys in the next one. <clears throat> Peace. Oh. Oh.